Right, welcome in. We have a Money Match Monday best of seven show match between Hera and Tato, and it's going to be on Hyper Random, and we see Vikings versus Franks here on a very weird map. We've got a half moon crescent of a wood line in the north. Lots of geese here for Tato. Unfortunately, the geese only have 43 food, and that's just the nature of Hyper Random. All of the resource values are random with the exception of the uh, trees. So, for example, this deer has 169 uh, food on it. It's a $200 show match. By the way, these boars have 460 food on them. So it's a lot. As Tato now makes his way over here, it's a nomad start. He's going to make the TC very, very defensively at the back next to the stone mine that has 444 stone on each singular tile. So that's a lot. Unfortunately for him... Is this true hyper random? I just set, put Zep, Zetnus hyper random as the map they should use. So uh, they can pick whatever variant they want. I should probably tell them that, or maybe someone can tell them on, before the next game. Unfortunately for Tato, we've got uh, a boar with only 208 food rather than the 400 that he saw before over here. But he scouted it with his geese. Hera will find a boar over here with 425 food. So Hera's going to be looking fine. Ida, thank you for the 31 months. Appreciate it. Welcome in, everyone. This is going to be fun, guys. Best of seven. I'm surprised they agreed to this. A best of seven hyper random show match can go a long time, man. They may, they may never play Money Match Monday again. They may never play again. And Hera, unfortunately, just doesn't have anything to scout with. <laughs> Hera is in a rough spot, guys. Look at Tato's point of view. <laughs> My man is exploring the entire map, and Hera can tell from his score that it's not going to look good. Straggler Tree, thank you for gifting us up to Dave is the best streamer. That's a uh, true username, as Tato finally gives Hera a goose. And Hera will be searching for the wild boar around here. Hera! Hera! There's a goose! On the loose! Hera! He's going to find some of his own. With 146 food on them. Always got to check the values on everything, right? Gold mines, 471. More gold over here. 251 only on that gold. But 504 on the stone. That's quite a bit. The deer are good with 169. The berries have 370 on them. So that's a lot of food there. That's 3,700 food there. And some boars hanging around too. Davis knows the best streamer. And Tato has found some berries as well. 222 on them, so more than normal berries. And he is Franks. Should benefit him. And we'll see what the, the start overall looks like for both of these guys. I mean, Tato later with the TC. Hera later finding all the, uh, the turkeys and whatnot. He's going to take the forage bushes over here. Bruno, thank you for the 17. Huge for Franks. I kind of like Vikings here. I think, like, on a map where Tata's going to be relatively safe, if the Vikings can get into, like, Berserk Arbalist, Hera should be able to get there. It could be really, really nice, right? Does each relic trickle generate randomly? No. That's one of the things that's not random. So, the trees in the forest are all 100. The straggler trees are a different different story in general. See, like these ones are 74 wood. This one is 114. And the relics are standard too. Typed. We need more of that. Robert, thank you for the $40. Okay, I've already recouped my costs on this Money Match Monday. Thank you, Stream, for the donations. That means that there will be a Money Match Monday next Monday. I'm promising it now. I'm going to get two top players, maybe a best of five, and then like a best of three between two semi-pros maybe. And then we'll see about um, setting up some show matches maybe between viewers. That could be good too. Define a semi-pro. I'd say like the arena clowns maybe, you know, someone like John Slow. We've had him on Money Match Monday before. Super entertaining. Um Someone like Huang, if I could grab him. Maybe, uh, you know, Red Phosphoru or whatever. We'll, 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 we'll keep an eye out. 
I'll try and Lewis. Oh God, yes. We could get Lewis as well. He gets an extra five dollars every time he he chats. What's the pot split? One fifty dollars for the winner and fifty dollars for the loser. So, Hera is gonna slowly boom up. Kato is going to be taking the deer back here to the moon, and I think it's a fast castle build for both. I think it should. Kazaro, thank you for the one hundred dollars. Oh my god. Okay, we've recouped. We're fine. We're good now. Thank you, bro. That's crazy. I hope you're doing well, man. I know you were having some uh, difficult times, so I hope you're doing uh, doing well. Feudal Age on the way for Tato. Feudal Age is on the way for Tato. It's on the way for Hera a little bit faster. And I would assume it's going to be fast castle approach for Tato. We'll see what it's going to be for Hera. He's already building the barracks here as Tato tries to wall off on this side. How does Tato perceive this map? Well, he sees the full wood line across the center, so he can wall here and be perfectly safe and just boom up to his ultimate comp, maybe. Hera doesn't see that big wood line. He knows where Tato's like barracks and houses, but he, do he doesn't see this. So like, he's gonna be running around with scouts maybe, or archers or something like, oh, I can get in there. No, no, you can't, my friend. There's absolutely no way you could get in here. <laughs> Tato kind of paid for that position though. He did go up there with a villager and uh, he was building alone for a long time. So, he, his TC took longer to go up. As Hera goes for a Spearman, he's going to scout. Kato's also looking to scout, and Hera goes for a stable with the Vikings. Stable here for Tato. Forward. Okay. And I think Hera might spot this really, really quickly. Oh. Oh. He saw something. He saw something. And now he's seen it all. It's a forward stable. <laughs> Unfortunately for Tato, that has been discovered right away. And Hera will try. He'll think about a tower to deny that, but it's never happening. He's just going to let it ride. Does Tato have loom? He does not. Probably the correct decision. He's just going to wall up on this side. And he's going to go to the berries. More berries for the Franks. Full walls over here. Hera. Kind of adapting a little bit. He's made one scout and he's going to try and hunt down this villager. Let's see if Tato can save this. No loom. Oh my, oh my god, that quick one was so quick. But it doesn't matter because he, he, he ran away a little bit too fast. These two were so fast. And the forward veil goes down. It should be similar castle ages for both of them. Remember that Hera already has wheelbarrow. A classic Hera, right? He makes a scout. He's trying to be aggressive. He figures out that Tato has gone for the forward stable, which means he's probably walled behind. And he cuts scout production to go up to Castle Age and even uses the scout to push in more deer. Tato roaming around with his own scouts, though. Looking for opportunities. Hera is still scouting with the geese. And Hera has found even more geese. This spearman was a fantastic investment. Now, they don't have that much... Some of them don't have that much food on it. Some of them do. But still, really, really good job. You need to know what the map layout looks like on Hyper Random. So, so important. As Sato continues to make scouts, and he's still not up. Oh! <laughs> Why? They were just innocent geese. You could have taken them. He killed the geese. The geese are down. Archer's now coming out from Tato. Really? Really? He's got pretty good scouting on where Hera is. And he should know that Hera is up to Castle Age. I hope Tato goes for, like, Axemen or something. That would be sick. <laughs> There's certainly enough stone back there, right? Like, how much stone is on this one stone mine? 3,000? That's a lot of Frank castles. 
And another 3,500 on that one. That's a lot of Frank Castles. And then we have this one as well with another 3,500. Geese are never innocent. As a Canadian, I kind of, I tend to agree. Yeah. <clears throat> Hera gets the castle age. He's got handcart now. Tato still massing up archers. Still looking around with the scouts. And Hera will go for a second town center. His eco is going to be kind of concerned. And he's luring in a boar. Classic Hera. He's in Castle Age, so that scout is going to be pretty quick. And Tato's going to be like, no, 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 you can't take this. And Hera's going to try and block the scouts now with his own scout while still luring this in. I don't know why it's still following. <laughs> that is a very long follow for that. But now Hera will match up against the archers and a spearman from Tato. As Tato turns back, and he's going to go up to Castle Age right now after this villager. 34 vills for him. Res collected, still ahead for Hera, no surprise. A lot of hunts. Vikings as well. And Hera's going to have a really good eco advantage. What's up, Metal Face? <clears throat> What's up, dude? I wonder what Tata's going to cook up here. It could just be like a 3TC boom back here. But he could also go for the Axeman approach or something. That could be cool. Like, Onager Axeman. Onager Axeman would actually be really sick against Vikings. I guess you just have to micro your Arbalist like crazy. Or even Bomber Cannon Axeman, yeah. Axemen don't get played enough. Well, there's just a better option, right? The hand cannon. Way easier to get into uh, than the Axemen are. It doesn't require castles to produce. Has more range. And counters most of the same things. What's going on in the corners? Uh, geese. That's what's going on. Geese. Not really any fantastic corners. Although this is a very cute little area here. Cats are really taking advantage of that Frank... Uh, berry bonus. How do you approach this if you're Hera? Like, you're going to have a better eco, sure, but your tech tree as Vikings is not the greatest, and Tato is constantly controlling this area. Res Collected is now ahead for Tato as he gets to the Castle Age. Crossbow coming in. Hair working away on the stable. He's going to go for a siege workshop, and he's already working towards a castle. Tato goes for a second town center behind. It's fine. I would have liked to see it here, but I guess he incorporates the wood line. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, if you put it one tile over, you could have made a couple more farms there. Chieftains? The, the crossbow there for the Franks are going to kind of push him away from Berserks, I think. Difficult situation here for Hera. Welcome in, everyone. This is going to be fun. Hopefully we don't have any super annoying campy maps on this so the players don't get frustrated. But even if they do, they're going to finish it out. We may never see them again for Money Match Monday, but they're going to finish it out. Hera's kind of surrounded a little bit. i will go for another town center here. Tato applying some really good pressure, even though there's only been four kills this game. It's had a lot of units forward. Hera's eco is, is starting to really, really expand, though. And that's, that's the worrying part about playing against Vikings, right? You have that in the back of your head. You're like, oh, they have handcart. They have wheelbarrow. That sucks. <laughs> and Tato doesn't even have one of those things. It used to be worse. When there were less civs, and Vikings still got thumb ring, like Vikings were a very strong option on land maps to just play crossbow and arbalist. Now without thumb ring, they're a little bit worse, and you don't have to worry about that eco as much because what are they really going to build up to? But they're still very very strong economic civ. Tato comes in for the mangonel, and Terra. 
actually getting a lot of value. Tato, will he be able to snipe this? Oh, man. Oh, Tato, he doesn't even get it. He doesn't even get the Magano. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It's funny for a man that doesn't respect TCs very often when he comes in with units. Hera expected a lot from his town center. And this TC already has five kills. This TC already has three kills. Tato loses all of his cavalry and doesn't even take out the Mangano. It's taking 146 damage. Tato will go for two additional town centers. And Hera is... <laughs> Bro, just leak this. This is the second time you've tried to get this boar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull it in with a vill. <laughs> he tried with the scout earlier. He tried with the knight. He's going to pull it in now with the villager. Nice. And he's going to potentially try and take these relics as he goes for fourth TC. Big old boom from both. Wheelbarrow coming in for Tato. 815 stone for Hera. He could onager cut. Honestly, might not be a bad play. If he feels like his eco is going to be a little bit ahead of uh, Tato's and he gets the castles on the hill, it could turn this really comfy area back here for Tato into a really awkward situation for him. Did you know a Bohemian Ville with fervor and handcart runs away from a boar faster than a Diagoras? That makes sense. The same with Berbers, probably. Does Hera understand the map layout? He sees the big wood line, and he sees a wood line here. So he knows that Tato is in this corner. Probably just cooking with the eco. And both players are fairly content to just focus on this area. Tato has killed three villagers. Hera killed that sneak villager from Tato before. And Tato has 66 vills versus 74. And there's the, there's the castle from Hera. The trees are going to make things a little annoying. And Tata will expand outwards with the outposts. All right. We got a while here until we can see what the compositions are. Games like this I love, though, because you can fully see the tech trees on display. It's not just going to be make one unit snowball to victory, right? It's going to be a different style of high-level Age of Empires, which is trying to call out or trying to scout what your opponent is going to go into, and then you attempt to make a counter unit while also making a unit that can uh, damage them once you've killed their army with your counter. I would expect Onager from at least one of these players. Who would you say the best player who's never been in a tournament final is? Best player who's never been in, like, an S-tier tournament final? I don't know. Has ACCM been in a S-tier tournament final? I don't think so. ACCM, probably, yeah. MBL? MBL was in... Dude, MBL was in Hidden Cup 1, bro. Was that S tier back then? I don't know. But MBL's also been in King of the Desert finals. Like, MBL's made it, dude. Who's the most consistent AoE player? At the moment, it's Hera. Consistently the best. <laughs> That's a good fucking place to be. Let me tell you. Uh, but overall, it's probably, like, Viper, if we're looking at the history of the game. Backed? No, ACCM is better than both MBL and Backed. Okay, Pyrrhage on the way. It's Berserks for Hera. Off-meta money, Monday. Off-meta money? I guess this is off-meta money. Off-meta Monday, kicking in. It's gonna be Berserks for Hera. And what is the solution from Tato? I wanted to see Axeman Onager. It's going to be really tough, I think, for Tato to just find space. But he kind of made his bed back here, right? He chose to set up back here and wall up back here. And now he's going to have to lie in it. 
He just beat Yo with Berserk Skirm earlier? Okay. Onager. I think it's Onager Berserk for Hera. Imagine Onager Berserk versus Onager Axeman. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. Let's go. The Axemen are coming out from Tato. They're going all the way around. Now, is this is this a plan to go into many Axemen? I think it is. That is just a rough castle position. There's just no space. And he also gets the Cav Armor. I don't know if he's making Onagers, but he's definitely making Axemen. And Hera's going to attempt to cut. It'll be Bombard Cannon. Could be Bombard Cannon. And then some raids in the back. Tato's got a really good eco. Hera's got a phenomenal eco too. And remember, the Berserks are already here. And Hera will see that the armor is coming in for the Knights. Imperial Age on the way for Tato. The Onagers are here. Hera's gonna begin to cut. He's gonna cut through. Only one villager building that castle. Tato, you've been watching Viper too much. <laughs> you need more. Tato! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's a really bad situation for him. It's still not Elite Berserk, but dude, he needs this castle up. He really needs this castle to go up. 45% on it. The Onagers aren't coming over. The Berserks are. The Trebs are also working away. And there's not a lot of space here for Tato, but he does have night raids over on the side. And he's expanding his eco over here, too. So Hera will be distracted by this, for sure. And there's not too many Berserks. That's the upside. The castle does not go up. Chemistry on the way. So it'll be Cavalier Hand Cannon, Bomber Cannon, most likely, for Tato. And Tato has fallen behind on Vils now. And he calls the GG. Wow, okay. Hera takes game one. Tato just can't fight against this. He didn't expect the Onager cut. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That's a fast GG. I would have liked to see him try and expand, but I think Hera does kill a bunch. I think chemistry is just too slow. Is this a show match? Yeah, it's Money Match Monday. Dang. I wanted to see the uh, Vikings versus the Franks. Full Axeman Berserk, but oh well. On to the next one. It's a best of seven. We've got plenty of games to go. Now, if you're not familiar with this draft, it was all random. Both players got two bands halfway through. And then they were able to snipe a civilization from their opponent. So Tato sniped Saracens here from Hera. Hera sniped Chinese from Tato. So that's a win for Vikings and a loss for the Franks. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see if we can. Find the game because spec dashboard is still down. Happy leaves. Oh, it's up. Okay, spec dashboard is up. Pog. And Tato sent me another. Dude, Tato's great. He sent me another game lobby. Let's go. Is it snipe? Steal a sieve? Yeah, it's just steal. Sorry. So the little icon you see here is a scout laming a boar. Well, scary as thing for the tier two for 40 months. Thank you, man. Good little sub. What emote do you have here? That is... That... Isn't a terrible emote, but the wording on it is. <laughs> also from Puppy Saturation. Oh, this is a good one. Do we still have cute dog? I don't know if we still have cute dog. Is cute dog still a thing? It is. Awesome. So sad, I get a charity tax Yo, Monk, thank you for the two months, man. Thank you for the two months. Okay, game number two upcoming. Uh, we have Romans, Italians, Turks, Armenians, Aztecs, and Saracens remaining for Tato. Not bad, Sivs. 
For Hera, we have Japanese, Mayans, Poles, Slavs, Spanish is really good, Bulgarians, and Chinese. And we have Incas for Tato too. I didn't mention that. Pretty decent sips for both. It obviously depends on, you know, how the map is set up. I just want to see cute dog spam. Dude, I always want to see cute dog spam. 100%. I will never be let down by cute dog spam. That emote is adorable. Reminds me of Havoc, too, who we haven't seen here in a long time. Where is Havoc? She's gone. What happened to Ayaya? It got nuked. It got nuked. Okay, so we wait. Your mom groped me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to uh, We are now in the game. Awesome. Cool. So. <laughs> what is this Sakatra ripoff, bro? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. We've got Tato here as the Italians, and we've got Hera as the Mayans, and we have our nice little island with some random uh, shallows over on this side. Not sure if you can walk on those or not. I guess you can, since the wolves and the boars are there. And we also have kings. Oh, we have kings. I don't know if you lose your king, do you lose the game? I'm not sure. Because these aren't marked at, on Capture Age as kings. It's a Shaw. Hera deleted a vill? Oh. <laughs> Hera deleted a vill. Okay. <laughs> that explains why he's less vills as the Mayans. That's just great. As the Shahs roam around, they're going to explore the map. It's nice to have Shahs because then you can see the shorelines and the fact that you can fish. Italians should be really, really good on the water element. Of this map. Remember in hyper random all the resources are random. So these geese have 53 food on them. Not a lot. The boars have 170. And 328. The berries have 302. Hera has found some additional geese. With 144 food on each. And then we can check the fish. The fish. I mean 253. 223. Not bad. The turtles. 212. Not bad. There's definitely enough food out there for what He He's laming the boar with a shaw. You can attack things with the shaw, and Hera is taking the boar with the shaw. I've never seen this before. Hera is taking Tato's boar with a shaw, and that is the boar with more food on it. It has 328 food, and this is a unit that heals up over time, and my man is waddling home with the bacon. My man is bringing home the bacon here. <laughs> this guy is significantly faster than this board too. So Hera's got to be real careful bringing this in. Come on. No, no, Hera. Bring it back. It's okay. He heals over time. Attack him. Wait, Shaw, what are you, what are you doing to this boar? Shaw, what, <laughs> what are you doing to the poor boar? Shaw, stop it. What are you doing to that boar? <laughs> oh my god, this is not okay. That's right. This is not okay. It's not good, dude. He's going to do it again. He can't be stopped. He can't be stopped, bro. <laughs> He's going to pull another one. Watch. He's going to find these guys back here if he walks over there. It looks like he already pulled in the boars, actually. <laughs> what is Tato doing with his shot? He's not laming the boars. I don't know if he realizes he can. He's going to do it again. Look, he's a menace, dude. <laughs> he's a menace. We need some public indecency charges or something against this guy. He's an absolute menace. Oh my god, that might be the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Is he actually doing damage to the boy? Yeah, one damage per couple thrusts. Oh my god, that's too funny, man. Per wiggle, yeah. 
Holy. So Tato is minus a boar. He's got more fishing ships, though. And Hera has also gone for a dock, as you have to. Now, Hera could lose this vill because the Shaw can attack. But then the Shaw could get walled in. So the Shaw is an important, you know, element to this. It does very low damage. It doesn't even have a damage thing on here, so I could see. Uh, but it's every couple wiggles, it'll do one HP of damage. And then it'll heal up all the damage it's been uh, taken over time. I think Tato lamed a boar from Hera while Hera was taking? Really? Don't you do it, Hera. Don't do it. <laughs> this guy is so stupid. Don't you do it, Hera. Don't you dare wiggle in front of Tato's villagers. Don't you dare do it. He's under the TC. I guarantee you Hera doesn't know whether the king is a victory condition or not. And he's bringing the he's bringing the boy back. He's bringing it back now slowly. He's wiggling his way back to his base. A goth shaw must deal more damage to the boar. I don't know. It's not a villager. He has to suspect I suspect. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know if it's a victory condition. I don't know if they, if they lose this shaw, do they lose the game? I don't know. Is this a regicide show match? No, it's a hyper random show match. Se best of seven. Um, in hyper random, all the resource values are random. So, for example, these golds have 828 on them. This goose has 144 food on it. Berries have 302. And you can start with random units like the shaw, which Hera used to bring in two boars. Tato going to the feudal age and Tato has already spotted the dock from Hera. And he is going to go for a forward dock here as Hera goes to attack or this Shaw. No, he's just going to build a wall. Attacking the Shaw with a, a villager is probably not the greatest thing ever because it heals over time, right? Hera is a menace. He is wiggling in front of the villagers from Tato. He is trying to wiggle this Tato villager down. And he escapes with the king, the Shaw, and the Shaw dies, and he doesn't get defeated. So that answers our question. It is not regicide. Hera took the risk. He exposed himself to this villager, and, well, he's dead for it now. And Tato's like, oh, you could do that? <laughs> Tato's like, well, well, well. I can wiggle too, my friend. And now it's Tato's turn to come forward with his king. <laughs> no, Stepshaw, what are you doing? <laughs> Stepshaw, stop. <laughs> what on earth is this unit, bro? What on earth is this unit? It's so... It's just... I don't know. It's so appropriate. <clears throat> or inappropriate. Market Blacksmith for Hera. So Hera will focus on the middle. And Tato is going to focus on the water. And Tato is going to wall this up in between. You can't build, I don't think, on this stone terrain. So maybe a forward castle, that's like the only place you can make it potentially, unless you can build here. Looks like the way Tato's walling, you actually can't. We'll see. It might just be road terrain. If it's road terrain, you can build on it. What's up, Reese? Reese, you've missed the, the wiggle mechanics of AoE 2. AoE 2 now has wiggle physics. You missed it. The kings have been wiggling. I saw the boar clip. Okay. <laughs> Fish are being expanded here from Tato. He's got like the full surround uh, with the scouting, with the docks. And Hera is going to go for a castle. But Tato is stonewalling. Tato's like blocking it off. He knows what's coming, right? It's the only thing that can really hurt him. And Tato continues to scout. With Mr. Shaw. Now in the sides, I just noticed in the corners, there are docks. And my man says, 
Hello, weary traveler. Would you like to trade with me? It's going to be very loud when I click this stock. Get ready for it. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not like the markets that are in the corners. Never mind. I warned you for nothing. So you can, can trade with those stocks. You can't take them over. You can't kill them. If you have full water control and there's no gold left, you can make some cogs. Galleys from Hera attempting to snipe the fish. They're moving their way around. And Hera pushes forward now with villagers for a castle. Kato knows this is coming. And Hera's going to be like, bro, walls. So he'll need to make his first castle here and then go with a, a follow-up castle after that. His eco is not very good compared to Tato's. Like, Tato's already a thousand res collected ahead. <laughs> I can't get over that king. Where is he? He lost the Shaw? Did he lose the Shaw? No, the Shaw just isn't listed up here. Okay, the Shaw is still alive. The Shaw is still alive. And it doesn't even count as a villager or a military unit. It just, it is its own thing. Counts as a population space. It's like a horse. The Shah is on a different kind of list. That is true. Galleys from Hera. Finding the way to the backfish from Tato. And getting some kills now. It'd be funny if he like took these boars, but... I don't think that's really... The best thing to do at the moment. As Hera will go for plumes. And Hera will be thinking about another castle. Once he's through this stone wall. But there's more stone walls behind. There's always another level of stone walls from Tato. And Tato's on stone himself. So he's thinking. I could go for a castle. Hera's thinking. Bro. <laughs> another one? What? And it'll make Bodkin Arrow. The Shah is still here. We'll keep an eye on the Shah. 11 fishing ships for Tato. War Galley Gillnets. Hera knows. Like, Hera 100% knows that this eco is just booming behind. And he's going to have to get in here quickly. Is he going to be able to is the question. He could go for some petards. He could go for another castle drop. But if you go for petards here... I don't know. Tato can just re-wall behind. Res collected is insane. Oh, well, there you go. It's the fish boom. Fuguru, thank you for the 10 months, by the way. Thank you, bro. Siege workshop forward from Tato. Nice. The plumes are through. The plumed archers are through. So far, we've seen Axemen, Berserk, plumed archers. Love this. Shaws. <laughs> we'll add the Shaw to the list of things we haven't seen in a while. And that'll go right along with the other list he got added to earlier in the game. Super house wall from Tato behind. This is actually kind of risky if Hera gets through. And he's going for multiple petards because Tato's going to be running out of space. He has a fantastic eco behind. And he's going for a siege workshop stable combination over here. So knights and Maganels to push in. He's going to wait until he has enough to really just flood Hera's base. But Hera might be able to get a castle somewhere around here and apply a lot of pressure to Tato. Still only one town center for both as Hera places another TC here. Res collected off the chain. 2,000 ahead already for Hera. Petards are in the castle and a ram. Is he going to do plumed archers in rams hop in and out strategy? Doesn't seem that strong. Also, how quickly does Hera notice this? Can he quick wall this off? 
If Tato gets through here with the Knights, Hera's going to have to transfer all of his eco to the center area, and that's a nightmare. Literally and figuratively. More walls. <laughs> More walls behind. Hera's thinking, bruh. Tart is there, though. Tart is there. Does Hera go in? He's busy. He's busy over here. Maybe. He's going for a siege workshop. He garrisons everything. He's like, oh, crap. Here come the knights. And he will run everything to this area. Quick walls on the wood line. He traps it. Oh, wow. What a nice trap from Hera. Oh my god. It, it's not even trap. <laughs> and it is now. No, it's not. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. It is and it isn't. It is. They are Schrodinger's knights and Hera triple traps them now. But he's still got knights in the back here. And he's having to deal with a mangonel from Tato in a really difficult position. He might be able to take this out. He doesn't get it. But at least he doesn't lose all of his plumes. Crazy moments here for Hera. What a trap that was on some really weird terrain. Unfortunately, he's still dealing with a ton of stuff. And he'll need to repair this house. Repair the house. Repair the house. He gets it. He's repairing with more. The knights are trying to push in. The plumes are somewhat dealing with this. And he rewalls behind here. This is a masterclass in damage control here from Hera. That was phenomenal, honestly. On, on flat ground, that's easy. On hills with a bunch of random straggler trees and whatnot, and you don't have much space, that's very difficult. 16 fishing ships from Tato. And a Shaw. As the Petard pushes in, the plumes are right behind. The Petard's still not working well in the house, so Hera doesn't really want to go in here, or it is going to kill it now. Okay. And Hera's in. No ballistics. No first armor upgrade. Only one Magnol there from Tato, and Tato's now going to need some damage control. He's going to lose a lot of ills. He's going to lose a lot of ills here. But the Mangonel is on the way. Meanwhile, over here, Tato's still pushing in. Gets a shot on the plumes. Hera's busy. And Hera's kind of stuck. He has to kill that house. He does. The Mangonel is slowly creeping up from behind. Very similar to the Shaw. And that's a great shot from Tato. It was inevitable. Hera got a lot of damage with these, ma with these plumes, but... That was kind of inevitable. And now... <laughs> well, Era, I don't know if even you can micro your way out of this one, brother. He gets another couple villagers. This guy is insane. What the hell? This guy is insane. He gets away. What on earth? But, I mean, problems at home. Problems at home. Three mangonels, the knights, and 22 fishing ships. And he hasn't even needed to make fish traps yet, I don't think. He's just been fishing normally. 5k resources ahead for Tato. 40 villagers versus 65 villagers from Hera, though. Tato, the biggest problem for him is that he doesn't really have access to stone. However, he has access now to the front side of Hera's base. And he's got that plus two armor on the knights too. This map generation could be great in tournaments. Uh, I don't know. Feels like it would just be a water contest in tournaments. It's like the only reason that Hera is still alive here is because he's Hera. <laughs> He is literally him. Oh my god. It's getting more and more difficult to stay alive, though. Tato has an opportunity to kill a bunch of villagers now. He can still kill this town center. 
He's got more mangonels pushing forward. There's one mangonel there from Hera. Big shot from Tato. And the villagers dive for the knights. Hera is microing for all he's worth here. The fact these plumes are still alive is incredibly impressive. Like how are those things still living? But Tato has food eco for days from these fish. And he's gonna just keep spamming knights with the plus two armor. Hera has baited so much mangonel damage into Tato's own knights by just wandering under that TC and then uh, garrisoning at the last second. It's only a matter of time, though. It feels like it's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's it just You can only fight against plus two knights with plumes for so long. Saber knows. Thank you for the 19 months. You do still exist. I believe in you, buddy. The Shaw still exists, too, by the way. Wow. Wow. Hera is playing insane. He is. Yeah, he's playing incredible. Tato hasn't rewalled the front here. He should probably come forward and like do that. Maybe gain access to the stone. He's obviously very busy with this stuff. 58 villagers now for Hera. He was at 65 at one point. Tato was at like 40. But Tato's adding a second town center now in the north. And he's still pushing here. And mines don't get redemption. And that's honestly just awful for them. They can convert knights though. And that's what he's done. And Devotion is now in for Tato. He's thinking about going up. He needs stone, for sure. Like, there's stone over here he can take. There's not that much, but... How much is on each individual tile? 135. There's also stone here he can take. 653, so it's a castle per tile, essentially. Definitely needs a castle in that center area. Hera loses a couple more plumes. And baits some more damage into the knights. A lot of damage dealt from these mangonels. Imperial Age on the way for Tato. 15 on food only for Hera. 62 villagers though. Who coined the turn crop shot? Uh, I don't know. It was like three years ago or something? Two years ago? Does Hera not know about the water? Uh, he does. He had a dock. But he was taken off of the water by Tato early. And he can't really get back on. Because Tato controls the whole shoreline. Great snipe from Hera. Hera is just defending for all he's worth. What is the EAPM here? Yeah, Hera is just... Man, he's clicking like a madman. Throughout <laughs> this whole process. Oh my goodness. He's still on stone. How much damage has that TC taken? 6,212. So you could have like killed three TCs by now. This is only game two, by the way. This is only game two, and this game is incredible. That TC can take a good pounding? Well, don't tell the Shaw. Wait a sec, where's Shaw? Is Shaw, Shaw died. I think Shaw died. Oh no. This is a aggressive castle from Hera. And he's still busy microing over here. He's managed to take out two mangonels from Tato. As he gets hit with a shot. But he doesn't notice the fact that his villagers are being taken out over here. Cavalier coming in. Town Watch coming in. And GG. And that's a great game from Tato. But, I mean, a phenomenal effort from Hera. Look at that EAPM. 97. My man was clicking. He was desperately trying to stay alive. And some phenomenal traps from Era, some phenomenal uh, plumed archer micro, but Tato, I mean, the eco.
insane. He went for the forward dock, which was the correct play, walled up behind because he knew Harrow would be forced under land pressure. Yeah. 230 peak? Holy fuck, bro. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That was a really fun game, though. <laughs> What's the KD there for Hera? It's not great, but considering what he was fighting against, pretty good. Mezzo on water maps is unlucky. Yep. Yep. But it's hyper random, dude. We got to embrace the idea behind hyper random. It can't be fair. It can't be fair. That wouldn't that just wouldn't be entertaining. There's no competitive integrity here, all right? None. <laughs> as long as we're upfront about that, then we're good. Why Bulgarians pick? Because the computer randomly picked it. That's why. See all these dice here? The way the draft worked, and I set this draft up yesterday in about 10 minutes, so it's not the greatest one. We had four randomly selected civilizations for each player by the computer, or by the, the site. And then we had two bands each, and you can tell they banned out really strong civs on average for Mega Random. And then we had four more selections for each player. And then each player got to steal one of the civilizations from their opponent. And you're waiting. Yeah, Grath, I, I like it too. I think it's nice and simple. Um, I just want it to be a little bit more clean. So I, I need to find somebody to do that. Are all the maps hyper random? Yeah. So every map is going to be different. I'm really happy about this so far. I hope the players are having fun too. Obviously, the first game probably isn't as fun as that second one. But... We already recouped the cost for the prize pool from this one. So next Monday, there will be another Money Match Monday. I'm going to try and get two really good players similar to Tato Hera. I'm not sure if I can get Viper because I think he's moving right now. But try to get another top guy or top two guys. And then um, that second map is tournament worthy. I think it would just be a Waterfest extra set. I don't know. How do we get your PayPal links down below? Um, <clears throat> and then I'll try and get like two semi pros, you know? And then maybe if we expand it a little bit, we'll see how long this takes. We can do uh, viewers. So we could get two viewers of similar ELO and just have them play like a best of three with maps that they're comfortable on. And include that in Money Match Monday. Maybe like... $50 prize pool for the best of three for the viewers, then $100 for the semi-pros, and then like $200 for the pros. Remember when your chat was going to face Harris chat often? Yeah, I got to set up another sub battle too. But I think that would be fun if it was like a weekly thing. Grudge match would be great, dude. If we could find two players that like, not like hate, hate each other, but are kind of rivals. Like if you have a rival... And you've had some funny chats before and you're like constantly chirping each other in the game. But you don't have actual hatred for them. I, I, I would be interested in, you know, doing that. Margu versus Lewis. Is that a thing? Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. Hey, we boomer. Thank you for the 20 months. MBL and Catwatch. MBL That's more their, chap their chats, though. It's more their, their communities, you know. Salty series. Yeah, just like uh, Melee. Dude, my favorite salty series of all time in Melee is Bizarro Flame versus... Uh, versus, was it Eichelman? <laughs> there was supposed to be another guy. I forget his name. Uh, there was supposed to be another guy that Bizarro Flame was going to uh, face. And he has one of the coldest lines of all time. Scar asked him, he's like, what did you think 
when you heard that Eichelman would be taking his place. And Bizarro Flame thinks about it for a second. He comes back with, easy money. <laughs> a fucking gangster, dude. <laughs> so gangster. FM, thank you for the gifts of the Chupta. I love that. All right, so they're selecting sieves here. Really got to think about it. Really got to think about it. You got some good sieves on both sides, some not so good sieves, right? Like holes may not be good if you don't have a lot of space for the full works. Bulgarians may not be good. You never know. And we have a very similar map to the first one. Very, very similar map to the first one. It's not the same, but it's extraordinarily similar. We have the the little area in the center surrounded by wood. Way less res on this than game number one. And the fruit bushes only have like 185 food. These turkeys only have 27 food. The javelina has 349 and this other one has 441. But overall... Less resources available. Still a nomad start, though. Doug, thank you for the 20 months. Harris found himself a wood line. Tato has found himself some berries and a wood line. And Tato is playing as the Romans. Hera playing as the Japanese. And they start with a horse. <coughs> they start with a horse. And apparently Tato wasn't able to shoot at that horse. Interesting. Hmm. I'm still waiting for a show match between MBL and his ha evil half brother, brother WDL. Maybe. That'd be like some community thing where the evil guy has a mustache. So having the horse here is huge. They'll be able to find all the herdables, right? The turkeys. They'll be able to find where their opponent is. Tata will be able to figure out that there's a little crescent moon little nook inside here. And Hera will see the same. On Hyper Random, if you get a turkey with 27 food on it, I mean, just use it to scout. <laughs> that thing is... That thing is worthless. That thing is horrendous. It's just awful. Doug, thanks for the 20 months, man. Love when I see Doug. Feed it to the other turkeys to fatten them up. That's really dark, dude. That's really, really dark. I love it. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, no, no. This is... No, this is bad. This is really bad. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> ah! <laughs> da Tato! <laughs> I knew this was... As soon as I saw Hera with a horse, I absolutely knew it was going to happen, and Tato should have realized the same thing. It was, it was a really tough position, though. He's on a hill with a horse near him. He couldn't de the boar at all, and he's lost a villager because of it. He's lost to Ville. Which sieve do you like better, guys? I think I like... I think I like Japanese better, honestly. Romans? I think in this sieve matchup, I actually like Japanese better. Romans? Yeah. Can Japanese stop the Roman scorpion ball? I mean... I think they can just kill them before scorpion. Romans, Romans, okay. I like the I like the archer player for Japanese. Archers, Maganels, the monks, you go knights as well. Constantly enjoying the streams, dude. Then a, thank you. Thank you for the twenty five dollars, man. Put that towards the prize pool. I will put that towards the prize pool for future money match Mondays. Thank you. Oh, that is unfortunate for Tato. He has just lost the horse. Against the TC, so it's not a great start here for Tato at all. Against Hera. 
Does get another boar in, though. And, uh, well, he's behind by a villager, and now he's behind by a horse. He is horseless. Some turkeys with some food on them, Tato. Maybe you might want to, you know, think about those a little bit. Let's examine the stones and the golds. 456 on those day. stones. 484 on these. Big earn. Thank you for the 10. Once again, towards the prize pool. And then 600 gold on each one of these tiles. So, less than normal, but... There's a lot of gold tiles here, so there's almost 5,000 gold available. And then, of course, back here, I mean, 3,500 in that one three-tile patch. Only 431 on each of these. And then another 3,700 here. So there's plenty of gold available for Tato, and I would assume the same for Hera. Yeah, plenty of gold, plenty of stone. They'll probably be fighting just over this area. And this hill in particular. Remember, it's it's completely cut off here. So Hera owns a portion of the map. Tato owns a bigger portion of the map initially. Bro, I hate this in Hyper Random. When there's Ibex and you're like, oh yeah, I got a food source. Nope. 41 food per Ibex. Build a mill on it. I dare you. 164 total. Shameless, actually. Actually shameless. Those those Ibex are starving. How much on the boar? It depends on the boar. So some of them had like 349. Some of them had... That one's got 349 as well. Uh, this one, 349. There was others with different values, I promise you. There were some others with different values. <laughs> I just can't remember what they were. Hera comes forward with the barracks. He's scouting everything from Tato, and Tato kills the horse. Good house wall there to block it off. Tato doesn't see this, though. Hera knows exactly where Tato is because he had his horse. And the question now, is Hera going to pressure really hard? I think he is. He's going men-at-arms. And towers. Or maybe an archer range. Archer range. Maybe one tower. As Tato now comes out here. And he's not going... Oh my god, it was so close. He was so close to seeing that. He's going for a stable. Oh no. That's a really rough spot for Tato. A really rough lack of spotting the forward for Tato. Hera sees the stable. He's going to be really, really happy about that. Going men-at-arms and archers up against scouts. Very solid. And he'll even let them out early and start attacking that stable. Tata will see these. And he'll see the barracks now and he'll see the range. So he knows exactly what he's up against. However, there's no gold or stone... Within this safe area from Tato. So he will need to add a range of his own. He'll need to get Loom. And he's going to try and take out the Archer here from Hera. Keep himself safe, potentially. Important to note that Hera has scouted all of this. So he knows he's cutting off the main stone and the main gold from Tato. He knows the other options are back here. He knows Tato has very limited options. In resource availability. But there's only two villagers forward from Tato. Or from Hera. And Tato has a lot of villagers to build his tower. So if Tato can clear this up and get a wall off across like this, he might be able to gain access to that gold. And his tower actually ranges the men-at-arms so he can keep his stable working. And Tato has an archer range with Skirms. So Tato... I think has done fairly well against this initial push. There is a stable there from Hera, but the scouts are coming back. There's a skirmisher to potentially deal with the spearmen, and the villagers are exposed, and Hera doesn't have loom. <laughs> oh my god, two forward villagers doesn't have loom. Oof. My man is in trouble. Maybe got a little too aggressive there. He does take out one scout. 
The villager might be able to take on another one, but with the skirmishers here, I think the forward is dead from Hera. As Tato now clears up another men at arms. I mean, that's... Aside from losing the stable, which is really regrettable, and he's going to have to add another one, that's really great damage control from Tato. That is fantastic damage control from Tato. He's going to lose his blacksmith. I mean, the blacksmith is kind of nice, though. It's laming the golds and the stones a little bit. As Tato adds more skirms. No, he's not going to add more skirms. not going to add more scouts, despite adding the stable. He'll just... Okay, he's going for skirms now. And scouts. Makes sense. The blacksmith really ties the base together, does it? Maybe it does. What's the red dot in the middle? That is a very lonely turkey. He's avoiding, he's trying to avoid Hoyo, who said that the turkeys with less food should be fed to the turkeys with more food. Smart turkey, yep. Take a look at Hera's economy. Uh, no horse collar. Loom not coming in was definitely a mistake. <laughs> definitely a little greedy to send villagers forward without Loom. So he actually lost two of those. But remember, Tato lost one against uh, Hera's Lame earlier. So it evens out slightly. Scouts from Tato now over here. Scout from Hera still getting a lot of value against the Skirms. And another scout from Hera. So Tata will lose his army forward here, presumably. And he's just going to have to defend once again. However, he has got the walls up. Perfect response there from Tato, keeping himself safe. And now, if we look at the wood lines and the walls, assuming Hera doesn't get past here, Tato's got so much map control. He's got so much map control. All the way over to this corner. But Tato doesn't know. True. He has seen the wood line. So he might assume that it's open over here somewhere, but he's seen a continuous wood line across the center. So he probably knows. He has gone for a wall for safety, but he probably suspects that he's, he's fairly safe from that side. Forging is in for Tato. These archers are wildly out of position for Hera. Wildly out of position. And the scout production from Tata was on point. Hera will get the walls up over here. No way in for Tato. And Hera will go up to the castle age. Hera's also going to have a lot of space. Like, I know Tato's got a ton of map to take advantage of, but so does Hera. Does he know about it? He doesn't really know about it either. <laughs> Unless his horse doubled back and he can assume that it's blocked off over there. Wow, he needs to keep this stuff out. He's going up to Castle Age. He needs to keep this stuff out. That gate needs to be preemptively locked before it completes. Danana, thank you for the 10 months. Lock it. Preemptively lock it. Hera, no, lock the gate. Hera, preemptively. Th oh my god. Bro, he waited till the gate was up to lock it. Oh my god. That was so close. I heard the locking sound. He waited till it was up. He forgot you could you could hit that earlier. It was so close. Those Vils 100% would have gone for this house after that. Scout's still working away. Castle H on the way for Tato now. Tato still has to be worried about these forward buildings. Those could be annoying. It wouldn't surprise me if he tried to go forward now. But when you go forward, you have to keep in mind that Hera probably has vision on all your vills moving this way. Because of those buildings. So it's not going to be super sneaky. Hato's on stone as well. So maybe just 
Night production, more TCs behind. Expand your eco. You can trust in your composition late against Japanese. Poor Chaco. No, Chaco deserves everything that he gets. Chaco is not a victim here of the moment. And he knows that. Were the victims for having to read that? Yeah. Now this is still being repaired. Scouts have done a lot of damage, but the knights are out now from Hera. Once again, Tata with the eco lead. Romans, 5%, resource collection, faster building, etc. Really, really solid. Monastery for Hera. How many relics are here? One, two. There's two over here for Tato. So they'll both have two relics. And Tato goes for Heavy Plow. And he's going to add two additional TCs. One over here. You can see him scouting with the skirmishers. Another TC here. And he's going to be really happy to see that there's no hole on this side. Okay. Okay. Ultimate compositions for both both sides. Think about the Civ matchup. What are we going to see? We have like a big treb stack from the Japanese with Japanese towers. I think that'd be difficult for the Romans to deal with. Centurion, Scorpion. <laughs> oh, God. Scorps and Legionaries. I think the towers might be the difference maker. Honestly. The Japanese Yasuma towers, imagine them all set up here. There's plenty of stone on this map. You just get them set up all the way around the middle on the wood lines, everything. I think that could be a real difference maker. Scorps beat all. Scorps don't beat Onager, though. Scorps don't beat a big treb stack. Scorps are very, very unwieldy. Aren't Samurai actually a good matchup? Yeah, Samurai should do okay versus Legionary. But the Scorpions will do some damage against them. Legionaries get bonus against infantry, yeah. they I think they cancel out Samurai and Legionary. Why is Tato making Light Cav against Knights? Because he already had the Scouts. And he makes a few Light Cav because he saw the Monasteries from Hera. Yeah, Samurai doesn't do bonus damage against Legionaries. I don't think they do bonus damage against, like, Eagles or anything. It's a very similar type of thought process there. But they still do a lot of attack. Like, Samurai attack speed is and reload speed is really, really quick. They can shit out damage. They just can't take much damage themselves. It should be a fairly even matchup between Samurai and Legionaries, even with the charge damage from the Legionaries. We'll have to test it out, though. Maybe get in the scenario editor. Enough stone for a castle here from Hera. And Hera wants to come forward for this. He's got the monks. He's got the knights. Tato is still producing. Tato's got some monks of his own. Uh, if he can push the castle back to, like, here, that's a win for him, I think. If it goes up here, that's very difficult. If it's here, that's terrible. But he sees the Vils, so he knows that there's something coming. As he snipes one of the villagers from Hera. And Tata will advance. Hera is going to try for a castle up here, I believe. He'll want it here, but there is the best, best location, I think. Tata can't fight that. Until the monks are here, until the monks are here. Harris also got maybe some monks on the way, but Tato with some great snipes on the monks. Could this shift the battle in favor of Tato? The fact that he got those monk snipes, he's getting a lot of conversions and misses out on that one. And that could actually matter. Also two knights on stand ground. 
I think those are the converted knights. Hera put them on sand ground before he sent them in. So they weren't fighting. Cultivated meat. Thank for the gift sub to Frankie. Appreciate it. It's a good gifter. It's the little things, right? Tato sniping those monks. He's trying to do damage control now himself. Hera getting devotion, I believe, this game. And then putting the knights on staying ground so they wouldn't immediately help his opponent. And now Hera getting a lot of villager kills. Tato trying to survive. He has the superior eco. But for how long? Only two villagers ahead now. Hera only with the first wood upgrade. Thank her. Thank you for the gifted sub. And Tato calls the GG. There's a castle on his face. There's knights in his eco. He's got a lot of economy behind here, but Hera really snowballing that one. Right inside of his base. Damn, dude. That was such a good recovery early from Tato, too. Against the men at arms archer pressure. Oh, well. Hera takes the game. 2 1. And a good KD for him. Better eco for Tato. Remember, when you're thinking about like them giving up too early or whatever, I, I think this is definitely a game that Hera is going to win with this position. Uh, it is a show match, so I don't really care about them you know, not wanting to play an another 30 minutes for a 5% chance. And it's a best of seven, so we have plenty of games. Thought Tata was going to dominate. Yeah, I think it's whoever gets a forward position there is in a really good spot. And Hera was just a little bit... You know, he emphasized the Castle Age production a little bit more. Romans lost, Japanese win. Hera up to one. And we have another game. Let's see what civs they have remaining. Spanish is really good, I think. Um, Saracens is also great for hyper random. It's a very flexible civ. Can play land, can play water, can play the closed maps really well too. Armenians could be great. Incas could be great. Aztecs a little bit kind of pigeonholed into that land approach more. Hera's got some question marks here, like Slavs, Poles. You better hope you get a map that's conducive to those. Like, if there's, there's some maps here where there's straggler trees everywhere. And Poles could be absolutely brutal on a map like that. How are you going to find space for farms around your full work? What's the yellow bordered sieve? That's the sieve that they stole from their opponent. So you can see the scout stealing the boar on the little icon here. Tato stole the Saracens from Hera. And Hera stole the Chinese from Tato. Good steal, to be honest. Yeah, I think Saracens is... Like, Chinese are great if we're going on to a land map with plenty of food available. But there's some hyper-random generations where Chinese can be horrible. <laughs> like... Chinese can just not be the sieve that you just don't want to have. Especially if there's no food instantly available. Chinese with 10 food goats. Yeah, <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really bad. Really, really bad. Or like a nomad start where you just can't find any food and you have to farm right away. That's rough. Koenig, thank you for the tier three, bro. 31 months of tier 3. That's my dude right there. Poggers. Thank you, everyone, for being here. If you're not following already, do me a favor, drop a follow or something. I don't know. I'll run a uh, little ad break so you don't... Or maybe Exoseb's doing this so you don't get it during the game. Okay, Exoseb's doing it, I think. He's, he's good. We need an HGB versus Mate show match. Oh, God. Then we're going to have to Google Translate the whole thing. Has someone tried the siblings having to share draft? One player tries to create two equally strong drafts and the other gets to choose. Yeah, yeah, we've done that before. Yeah. 
or t tournaments have done that before. It's really interesting, actually. Because some people try and draft, like... We've done one where each player drafts civs for their opponent, and that one can be interesting. You try and draft, like, terrible civs. I did, but it's not always preventing ads during the game. Trying to figure out what's going on. Damn. Just try your best, dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing that. Okay. Well, we're close, <laughs> but uh, there's gonna be no shenanigans here <laughs> because they have some freaking vision, bro. They've got some serious vision, and they get a horse to scout. They have some serious vision on all these resources. They can see all the boars, 300 on some of them, 411 on others. They can see the, the farm, the rice farm. <laughs> what a farm. Holy shit. <laughs> Slavs, though. That's huge. T90 set this map up or what's going on? Yeah, T90 built this map. <laughs> Let's check how much is on the gold mines. Not too much. 372 on all of those. Berries, 381. So the berries are going to be a really important part of this base setup. And a lot of stone, too. There's some more gold in the center. That has a lot of gold on it. That has a lot of gold on it. But all the resources are basically focused on this center area. Check the other resources around the map. There's some boars. 564 food on this. That's worth sending a villager through the bears and everything to get if you find it. That is definitely worse. And you can actually use your uh, horse to block the boars as they chase your vill. Harrow will bring both boars back at the same time. He doesn't want Tato to take them. And Tato is roaming around with the horse. And Hera has actually lost the horse. He's lost it to the TC. Oh, boy. I mean, at least he has a lot of vision with these outposts, but... That could be bad. Pato just exploring everything. Remember, the players, as they're playing this, and they, ex they like find new resources, are clicking on them. And they're thinking, okay... That's a really important goal. Got to mark that down for later. That one has a lot less, so it's not as important as taking over this long term. These boars have more food than the other ones. The berries have a lot of food, so I can always fall back to that. This is the fun part about Hyper Random. You never really know what the setup is going to look like. Hera no gold close to the TC. He's got this gold back here. It's Tato without gold close to the TC. Tato's gold setup is all here. Hera's got this stuff back here. How much food on that farm? 175. You all. Your lives are so sad. Don't worry. He slaps. Seven forever. Thank you for the 17 months. More like 17 forever. Am I right? Haha. Uh -huh. 165 food on these deer. The horse can't push those. Tato tried. Doesn't work. And he still hasn't scouted this boar. This boar would be so nice, man. That's a feudal age boar right there. That's just feudal age. Straight up. Even accounting for the food rot. I wonder what the strat is going to be here. I mean... Slavs can be nice if you get your farming eco set up. If you're playing into monks, they can be good too. If you're playing into siege, they could be good. But Saracens can do all of those things as well. And Feudal Age is on the way a little bit faster for Tato here. And he still has his scout. 105 food on each one of these Ibex. It's tempting. There's five of them, but there's also four bears. 
<laughs> so there is a bear commune over on this side. Maybe don't want to risk it. Maybe we want to mark that down. Mental notes, you know? We don't go out for these. It is too risky. There is danger in these woods. Hera no loom. Tato no loom. They're really confident because they have the vision from the outpost that they're not going to be surprised. Of all the AoE casters, you are the only one who I would let take me alone to a cabin in the mountains by ourselves. Okay. Gonna play Uno together? Yeah, Scrabble. Boggle. Say thank you, Dave. Thanks. Archer range for Tato. And he's got to come to this forward gold. It's a disgusting situation for him, that gold position. But it is what it is, right? Hera will go for a range too. Hera's probably going to play into skirms. Tato's going to play into archers. And Tato can see the range. And Tato's horse died. I reckon Dave is the best camper, to be fair. Yeah, I think I would be. Yeah, out of... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> out of the notable people in the Age of Empires 2 community, I 100% would be, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe some of the Finns. I don't know. Skirmisher here for Hera. And he will be harassing the gold, and it's Skirms for Tato. And that gold position is just really, really rough for Tato. He doesn't even have, like, any real safe stones. Like, you can always make an argument to, uh... As the game is paused by Tato. You can always make an argument to go to the stone and sell that in Saracens. But that one is pretty far forward here. There you go. We're on our way. And it's just skirm v skirm. Second range for Hera. Double range skirmishers. Tato's not really using this gold for anything yet, though, because it's just skirm. So even if he gets kicked off of this, there is opportunities. He's going for a stable. Doesn't have the market yet, which is interesting from Saracens. You usually want to go for that really, really quickly. But he should build it soon. And then he can use that stone, maybe sell for gold and buy some more food and get, like, Omega Scout production. Who knows? He's definitely identified that Hera is going to go for Omega Skirm production. And there's the market right there from Tato. Germans tend to be good at camping stuff, too. I don't know. There's not many, like... I feel like... The Canadian definition of camping is very different from the European definition. Or not that that's non-Northern European definition. Jordan likes hiking? Yeah, Jordan Jordan's in better shape than me, that's for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Villager down. Nice job from Hera. He's going to spot the stable. He's going to spot a flag on this stable. How many scouts does he think is in there? That's the question. Doesn't have any spearmen yet, so he's moving back, as he should. As he should. Is he taking the farm? He's taking the farm. The farm is now being gathered from. There are trees blocking the way, though. I wonder if that, like, impacts her ability to farm. There's trees on there. We'll come back to that. As a tower now placed from Hera forward. Scouts are trying to take out the spearmen and then they can go on to the skirmishers. Archers have been on garrison, so difficult position for both. Very, very cramped in here. 
Very difficult with the pathing and everything. And Hera has actually gone for a house wall there. Beautiful job from Hera. Tato taking damage from that Spearman. And Tato's going to lose the scout. He'll snipe that down. As the tower is almost up from Hera. Tato needs to deny this, it feels like, or take it down right away. The scouts will work away at the skirmishers. The archers will push forward towards the villagers. The vills from Tato will continue to fight. And Tato calls the GG. He lost the position here. He doesn't feel like he wants to keep fighting. Rip the dream, dude. Rip the dream. Hera with the double skirmisher production. Just better, man. The gold position was super unfortunate for Tato. We identified that right off the rip, and Hera did as well. <laughs> Come on, Tato, give me more games. Dude, don't worry about it. We'll get we'll get at least two more. Don't worry about it. And if we don't, well, we had that second game. The second game was super entertaining. I, I enjoyed it immensely. You promise? Mm -hmm. Win for the Slavs, loss for the Saracens. That was his steal. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Bro, I'm still stunlocked on the whole campus thing? In what sense? <clears throat> How is European camping different? Just a lot less wild spaces. And the spaces that they have are like a little more manicured. Like when I think of camp, maybe it's just my personal perspective. Probably is. When I think of camping, I think of grabbing a backpack, grabbing a canoe, and then leaving for like four or five days. On a trail that maybe nobody else is on. And hopping from lake to lake. Portaging setting up at a campsite that maybe you've predetermined along the way, maybe not. Scandinavia has that for sure. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Getting eaten by bears. More like getting eaten by mosquitoes, but... Have you seen Into the Wild? Uh, I know the story. I haven't seen the movie. Wild camping is forbidden in Germany, as far as I know, is it? Been to the Alps? I was in, um, I haven't done any, like, serious activities in the Alps. I hiked up a mountain once in northern Italy, and I've been to Switzerland and Austria. It's 2-1? No, 3-1, sorry. I got stun locked. <laughs> okay, so we go into the next one. Chinese versus Incas. Chinese versus Incas. What type of map are we going to have here? Come on, Tato. Come on, Tato. Keep it rolling, bro. Keep it going. This is a very interesting map, and we'll keep an eye on the Chinese start, as it looks like we have some llamas with actual food on them. So Hera will start with additional villagers. He also has a house, and that little pavilion is going to help Tato a bunch too, because it gives him a bunch of extra pop space. And we've got a very weird type of map. Very, very weird. We have some Alfreds. Uh, we have some wolves. We have some boars hanging out with 350 food. This one is 329. And then water that I'm not certain if you can dock. 
on this beach terrain. Maybe you can dock back here. I think you can dock back here, but not like at the front here. Let's see. Meanwhile, over here for Tato's base. Well, a militia to start it off. No, a missing string. <laughs> we have missing string 26476. That's right. We cannot find the string. We cannot find the string. He is 45 HP. Wouldn't be surprised if this missing string has a bunch of armor and does one damage per attack. That's usually the case with these types of units. I'm going to check in the game because I think Capture Age might just be bugged. Yeah, he's got 10,000. Listen to this closely. 10,000 melee attack and then 1,000 plus 9,000 Pierce armor. Not 10,000 melee attack, 10,000 melee armor, sorry. So, what it boils down to is 10,000 melee armor, 10,000 Pierce armor. It's taking one damage per attack, and it's probably also doing one damage per attack. Lots of stone here. 205 on each of those, 352 on each of those. Gold mine, 634 on the two tile. And then 815 on all of these. So that's almost 10k gold right there. Kato is able to dock on the edge of the beach terrain. We were wondering about that. And Hera's going to dock in the center area. I think you can sail over this, though. I'm pretty sure you can sail over this. So he might be able to connect these two areas. It's a melee skirm. I don't know if this is a genitor. The original genitor. There has always been a unit in AoE 2 called a Genitor, um, even before the Berbers were a thing. And it looked like a militia, but it would shake its little uh, club and it would launch a skirmisher spear in the air. And it had the icon of a cavalry archer and it would run quick. It was a cav archer skirm militia. And it was almost useless. They were really, really bad. So, Tata will be moving back. This guy does not heal over time, but you can always, you know, toss it in your TC if you're worried. He just has to hope that he doesn't take another 42 hits <laughs> before it gets back. Fortunately for him, he's not that much faster than the boar, so he can just kind of click here and check up on that every 10 seconds or so and make sure he's not outside of the boar's line of sight. Oh, nice view. What's inside here? Pots, box, shield, another box. I always like to look inside the buildings, you know? Go pick up these guys. Why not? We'll check the values on the fish. Not a lot of food on these, but it's enough to go for a little fish boom. Hera's, same story. 246, 228. It's a lot of food on those Ibex. What unit uses that shield? Like a Ulam? Legionary? A boy. A boyar? What are we thinking? Round shield. Eastern swordsman. That is true. Why Incas? Because it's hyper random and the draft was random. So you don't know what the map's going to look like. You don't know what the resource values are going to be. And the captain's mode site drafted for you. So at the end of the day, you just got to pick a sieve. Hera is going to come over here. And he's going to lame the llamas. Remember that this unit has 1,000 melee armor. 1,000 pierce armor. But the TC extra arrows are really going to help against this. And it's now 20 hits away from death. Okay. 
And it also has one attack, so... I don't know if this is the best use of your, you know, 10,000 armor unit. <laughs> it can't even kill the llama, bro! Tata should have just sat here. It can't even kill it. It does one damage. It's seven hits a llama. <laughs> it should have just sat there. <laughs> Hera's gone for scouts, and he's going to get doinked by the spearman. No, he pulls away at the last second. Great job there from Hera. He's going for a forward dock on this side. Tato should suspect that. As Hera takes two hits. No, three hits from the scout. He's trying to save his villager over here, and the villager is locked. In a 1v1, I do not believe you can build palisade walls or anything on this beach terrain. Don't know why that wolf is flashing on the minimap, but it is. And eagles are coming out from Tato. Oh, we're, we're, we are truly, you're right, we are truly missing the string now. We are truly missing, salutes out for missing string. We couldn't find him. The wolf is still flashing. Oh, because it's got food. These are one of the wolves with food on them. That's why it's, it's rotting away so quickly. Also, the fastest food collection in the game from uh, the hunt that you kill and you can actually harvest from. Very, very quick. Tato goes for market. He's going to go fast castle. But he'll probably lose his fish. Because Hera is over here. Spearman has found the villager. And you can build on this terrain. Okay. I was all sorts of wrong about that terrain. Castle Age on the way for both. It's like Hera had better scouting. Yet again, he was able to find the fish from Tato. And Tato's going to figure out that it is not a free fish boom. It's not free at all. It's incredibly expensive to be over there. And he made additional ships too. That spearman did not connect with the poke. Unfortunate. Hera will still be booming here, and Tato goes for a dock. Okay, I like this. I like this from Tato. You can't let Hera get away with this. You know where the docks are. Hera hasn't gone for any ships over here yet. He's adding in more fish. He's going to fish on this side, which is in some ways okay, because you can go for fires to disrupt that as well. But uh, definitely... Need to get those alpacas out of the way. Good God, your hands are cold. And start taking these out. Hera now going for fires on that side. Tato at the back here with the spearmen. Hera's trying to wall those in or wall those out or whatever he's trying to do. And he's managed to trap them. So unfortunate situation here for these two guys. My boys are stuck. Knife beats spear, by the way. It's just the way it is. Fire versus fire in the center. Res collected significantly ahead for Hera right now. Significantly. Tato's going to need something here. Going to need some aggression or some YOLO or something. Because right now, it's really not working all that well up against the Chinese as he loses an archer out of villagers. Knights being produced. Oof. Tato. Oof. Oof, bro. Tato, show us something. Show us some life. Promise two games? Rue. I did. <laughs> Tato making boats. Yep. If he can kill the fish boom, maybe. 
There might be something. War Galley research is on the way. Only eight on food is the problem. And he's going eagles up against knights. It's like, ooh. You're going to need a lot more production than that. You're going to need a lot more food eco than you already have. Two fishing ships down from Hera. Okay. Making a fire over here to try and snipe the fish. Trying to find more fish over here. Tato with a good demo. And the villager, well, keeping himself alive. As the eagles are forewarned about the knights. So they won't run right into those and lose their lives immediately. So that's good. I think this fire went down too. No, the fire is sneaky. A very sneaky fire from Tato. A beached fire. And the scouts are in. But one gets converted. Uh, but, huh? <laughs> he was very confused. He saw his friend get converted. He's like, wait, is this okay? Should I kill that monk? But Jimmy thought he was very convincing. Resources collected. Still ahead for Hera. Goes for two additional TCs. Tato. Pushing out with the Eagles again. And a monastery. Second monastery from Tato. As the light cav upgrade comes in for Hera. And Tato gets some picks here. He might be able to find some villager picks. I think that TC is pretty close. What's up, Mingo Bingo? Hello to you as well. That TC is pretty close to garrison into, but Tato takes a villager. He's going to take another villager. He's going to deny the TC for the time being. It's important momentum being taken back from Tato, but there's still seven fishing ship advantage here for Hera. As Hera tries to go back out to the CC, and he tried to trap, and he deleted his protection. <laughs> A little too aggressive on deleting that house wall. <laughs> Trying to trap Tato's units in. Tato not falling for that. And there's a, there's a big old pilgrimage happening. Here from Tato. Really impressive force. Reinforcements on the way. Remember that Hera has Light Cav. And those Light Cav currently are probably thinking about looping around and sniping those monks. Where are they? Nope. He's just running away. He's going for demos. Uh-oh. Tato might get demoed. Uh-oh. Tato might get demoed here, folks. Uh-oh, he gets two conversions. At least there's something. But he's definitely going to get demoed, right? Ah! Yikes! He gets demoed on that side. Tato massing up more monks, massing up more eagles, and this is the barracks production that I want to see from Tato. I want to see monks... I want to see a ton of eagles. I want to see relics coming in. I want to see a pushback. I want to see a cleared up fish boom. I don't want to see four TCs from Hera for the sake of this series. <laughs> That's not good. That's really not good. And Tata will stretch forward for a siege workshop. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Just tune in. How were the games? They were entertaining. Uh, Hera has definitely been the better player today. Game two was great, though. And let's see if the light cap gets converted. That's really unfortunate for Tato. He does get the monk killed by that light cap. As Hera adds more. He sees the monk train coming his way, and Hera's going to avoid the monks with the knights. Pikemen 
We'll probably be in soon from Tato. Three barracks producing spearmen to support his forward push. 59 villagers, or 59 eco, rather, against 90. And it's a castle from Hera. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a difficult position for Tato to push, especially with the light cab all around here. The spearmen aren't here yet. Sanctity's in for the monks, so they will survive a few hits from the light cab. And he's cleared him up, and he's pushing forward. There's a bunch of knights here. How much faith does he have left on his monks is the question. He's got full faith on these monks. If the light cap can go down without sniping the monks, we could have a chance of denying this castle. He's still pushing in with these, and Hera needs to delete the castle and leave. Tato continues the push. Hera goes for another castle here. 95 villagers. Oof. And he took the light cap. He took Brian. What was his name? Brian? Bob? I don't know. Bridget. That eco gap though? Yeah, there's a there's a large eco gap here. And Hera's on the way to imp. Military gap is pretty big though. If Tato can get something going. That's the question, right? Can he get something going? Can he delay Hera long enough to get his eco set up behind fully? and get to Imperial Age himself. Right now, it doesn't seem possible, but he's coming forward with Vils for a castle. That was with Incas. True. Should have made another pavilion. Eagle's now taking out the fishing ships. That's what we needed. This is what we needed. We need some land pressure against fishing ship. Don't pull it away. Oh, it automatically left. Okay. But that hero was microing his fishing ships. I'm like, nerd. They'll come back. They'll come back. They they always come back. Perfect. Tato now goes for a castle. Hera is a minute and 15 seconds away from Imperial Age. She doesn't have all that many units. Tato's got double the military of Hera. The only question is, can he do anything with it? Can he split Hera's eco right down the center? Can he buy himself enough time? He's adding a third TC. He's got another ram coming forward now. And Sato tries to work away on this market. Chukanu will be annoying versus that ram. That is for sure. Once the castle goes up, they need to leave, but I think the ram will go down first. It's being repaired. Two villagers, not enough. And the castle goes up at the same time that Hera reaches Imperial Age. And GG comes in. Okay, 4-1, Hera, good job for Mr. Hera. He's too good, that's right. He's just simply too good, man. I think Tato had some unfortunate... Uh, the one Slabs versus Saracens game was definitely an unfortunate map generation. But other than that, I think Hera just did a better job scouting, identifying where the weaknesses were on the maps, and uh, taking advantage of that.